Naruto. Naruto, let's turn dark. Chapter 1. Konoha 51 years. Three years after the Nine Tails Rebellion. Village entrance. Konoha, I'm back. A young man with short golden hair stood at the entrance of the village. Looking at the renovated village, he smiled bitterly. After all, is it too late to come back? He has short golden hair, wears a long sword on his waist, and carries a bag on his back. The most eye-catching thing about him is not his hair that resembles the fourth Hokage, but his handsome face and torn clothes. Under the impact of the two phases, it appears extremely contradictory. If it weren't for Konoha's exclusive ninja forehead protector on his forehead, he might be more like a traveler than a ninja. His name is Su Ming. He is a time traveler. At the same time, he is also the adopted son of the fourth Hokage Namikaze Minato. The nominal brother of the nine-tailed Jinchuriki Uzumaki Naruto. However, Su Ming left Konoha three years ago due to a mission and only returned today. At that time, Naruto was not yet born, so he might not even know about the existence of this brother. Moreover, as a time traveler, Su Ming, who is familiar with the plot of Naruto, naturally knows what kind of dark and lightless childhood the Nine Tails Jinchuriki went through. That was a burden that even an adult might not be able to bear, but it weighed heavily on the young Naruto. It was obviously the Yandaimi couple who fought to the death to protect Konoha. However, their descendants were treated like that. Descendants of heroes, oh, how ridiculous. Taking a deep breath, Su Ming narrowed his eyes and walked towards the village. Three years ago, he left because of AC level mission, which took three years to complete. Now that he has returned, he must protect this weak brother. After registering his identity, Su Ming walked into the village, ignoring the strange eyes of the registration ninja. The streets along the way are bustling with laughter and laughter. After walking for about half an hour, Su Ming arrived at Naruto's home in his memory. It was Naruto's home, not the fourth generation. How could a fourth generation couple leave such a poor place for their son? When I opened the door, a musty smell hit me. Su Ming frowned and pushed the door completely open. What catches the eye is just like what I saw in the anime in my previous life. Scattered clothes, buckets of instant noodles everywhere, and long expired but still drunk, milk. Even though he had thought about it, when he actually saw this scene, Su Ming still felt a pain in his heart. Calculated by time, Naruto is only a three-year-old child now. A three-year-old child's daily food is just this. Serutobi. It's great that you remember your father's instructions. Before he could suppress the anger in his heart, the next moment, a figure appeared in front of Su Ming. The familiar dog head mask. Anbu. No one is allowed to approach the demon fox's residence without the third generation's order. What greeted him was a cold tone. Demon fox. Looking at the dog head mask, Su Ming sneered. Is this what Serutobi here is and ordered? How dare you call the third generation by his first name? The ANBU was furious, glaring at Su Ming, and even the chakra flowing in his body showed signs of taking action. But at this moment, Su Ming, who had never moved, moved. He drew his sword with one hand and swung it out suddenly. The long sword refracted the light and nailed the Anbu to the wall with one strike. The Anbu wanted to break free, but at this moment, Su Ming's cold voice came again. I advise you not to move. The life of an Anbu is nothing in my eyes. After looking directly into Su Ming's eyes for several seconds, the Anbu finally lowered his head and gave up struggling. Su Ming drew his sword and skillfully shook off the blood drops on the sword. Put the house in order. When I come back, I want to see a clean house. The words fell and the sword returned to its sheath. Only Anbu was left with a dull look on his face. At that moment, he felt the breath of death. That is, what kind of terrifying swordsmanship, what kind of terrifying sword speed. Su Ming had already left. The Anbu looked at the messy room, hesitated again and again, and finally walked in. Under the sunset. Konoha Park. Koji, go home. Daddy, it's time for dinner. Coming. Everyone has gone home. Mother. The little girl's cry of surprise was particularly harsh under the light of the remaining sunlight. The children who were originally gathered together suddenly dispersed, like birds returning to their nests, and in an instant they each found their own destination. There was only one person, staring blankly and somewhat enviously at the scene in front of him. My heart is full of longing. 
At this moment, a parent glanced at the lonely figure in the light with his peripheral vision. A trace of disgust suddenly flashed in his eyes, and he looked at his child reproachfully. What are you doing? Didn't I tell you not to play with that child? Come on. Let's go. Several people walked in a hurry, as if they had seen some terrifying monster, and hurriedly avoided it. Shikamaru, come home. Choji, you too. At this time, two more figures came over, each greeting their children. Goodbye, Naruto. Goodbye. The two of them greeted each other, and then hurriedly held their father's hand, with smiles on their faces. Naruto was the only one, looking at the retreating figure with a look of loneliness on his face. The setting sun was still there, spreading its radiance everywhere, but the light bathing that little figure still couldn't dispel the darkness in his heart. When Su Ming arrived, he saw such a scene. Is that really the case? Looking at everything in front of him, Su Ming was moved in his heart and walked over quickly. Under the setting sun, one big and one small, two people faced each other. Are you here to take your younger siblings home? After a long time, the little one finally spoke. However, everyone here is gone. You probably won't be able to get to me. But I can help you find it. As he spoke, Naruto showed his signature smile and gave a thumbs up. I am the man who wants to become Hokage. Very sunny. It was very sunny. Anyone who sees such a smile will probably be infected and start laughing in the same way. But Su Ming couldn't laugh, but fell silent. Hey, what's wrong with you? Naruto was a little curious when he noticed something strange. Su Ming looked at the petite figure in front of him, the yellow-haired boy with messy hair, wearing slightly shabby and dusty clothes. He is really similar to his father. Taking a step, Su Ming wiped the tears from the corner of his eyes while shaking his head. Su Ming stretched out his hand, pinched Naruto's ear directly, and lifted it hard, grinning. My stupid brother, I'm here to take you home. Are you really my brother? On the way. One large and one small walking on the street. When he turned back, the little eyes that met Su Ming suddenly dropped. Although it was only for a moment, Su Ming still saw the small sliver of hope in his eyes, and the deeper, fear that almost took over all of it. Are you afraid that all this is fake? Before Su Ming could answer, the voice rang again. They all call me Demon Fox and say I'm an orphan. Everyone in the village hates me. I think, a child like me doesn't deserve to have relatives. So, Naruto raised his head, met Su Ming's eyes with all his strength, and said reluctantly. Brother, you are lying and you are here to tease me, right? They came to tease me. Right. When he said this, he was smiling, even though he was smiling reluctantly, he was still smiling. Laughing sunshine. I am the man who wants to become Hokage. You can't fool me with such tricks. These words are the stubbornness of a three-year-old child. It's a pity. Not all of this is true. It's really true. Therefore, Su Ming did not hesitate and grabbed Naruto's ears, pretending to be angry and said. Idiot, what are you thinking about? It hurts, it hurts, let go. Su Ming let go, put his palm on Naruto's head, rubbed it hard a few times, and said that tone again. My stupid brother. I'm not stupid. I'm. But he wants to be the Hokage's man, right? Ha ha ha. On the streets of Konoha, the big ones were walking slowly, carrying the smaller ones on their backs. The setting sun sheds its brilliance, and this scene is rare and warm. However, along the way, Naruto on Su Ming's back was not stable and kept asking questions. Brother, why did you come back now? Come on a mission outside. Oh, brother, are you a ninja? Um, brother, are you strong? Brother, will you protect me? Brother, Naruto was so scared when you were away, so scared. After all, he was still young, only three years old. After chattering for a while, the young Naruto finally fell asleep on Su Ming's back. Slept extremely peacefully. Su Ming recalled what Naruto had just said in his mind and couldn't calm down for a long time. Three years old. While other children were still enjoying their childhood happily, his younger brother had such an experience. After meeting his brother, he would still wonder if someone was playing a trick on him. Has something like this happened before? Anger ignited in Su Ming's chest and would not go out for a long time. Naruto, please rest assured, my brother will definitely protect you. Must. The place where Naruto lives is some distance from the park. Su Ming walked slowly on the road. 
He didn't want to wake up Naruto who had just fallen asleep, even though he was sleeping soundly. However, Suming didn't want any accidents. Not at all. Not long after walking, many figures appeared on the road. More than a dozen children blocked the road and stopped Su Ming. Put down the demon fox. With the demon fox in the village, is it possible that you are the demon fox's accomplice? Looking at him like this, he doesn't look like a good person. The leading child took the stone from nowhere and threw it towards Su Ming and the others. Beat him to death. Kill this demon fox's accomplice. The large stone was thrown in an arc in the air and was held in Su Ming's hand. Use force. Boom. The stone shattered. Su Ming raised his hand and took out the long sword worn at his waist. The tip of the sword was forward, reflecting a small white face. He didn't speak, just walked forward slowly. Don't. Don't come here. When the children saw this, they were almost scared out of their wits. On the way back, one of them even slipped on his foot and fell directly to the ground. Looking at Su Ming, his eyes were full of fear. Next moment. A figure wearing a dog head mask appeared in front of the child. You've gone too far. Anbu. Su Ming raised his eyebrows, have you cleaned up? This Anbu was naturally the one who appeared at Naruto's house and was ordered by Su Ming to clean up the house. After hearing Su Ming's words, the Anbu was also angry. However, when he noticed the cold light on Su Ming's sword, he could only hold back his anger and nodded. Then spare your life and don't let it happen again. After saying that, Su Ming ignored the Anbu, just looked at the group of children behind the Anbu, and changed the direction of the long sword. Laugh. It landed directly on the ground, and most of the sword was submerged into the ground. When the Anbu saw it, his heart skipped a beat. He had overestimated the person in front of him as much as possible, but he found that he still underestimated him. Looking at Su Ming, who was a head lower than himself, he was secretly shocked. Is he really just a child? Su Ming is eight years old this year. I have a bad temper, so if someone bullies my brother again, the sword will penetrate his body next time. Drawing his sword, he grinned. Don't think I'm kidding, unless you want to be dead. No one dared to answer, and the scene was extremely quiet. The sword is sheathed. Su Ming was about to leave when he suddenly noticed another figure on the road. He raised his eyebrows and said, do you want to dance too? The Anbu also heard the voice and walked over. When they saw the person clearly, they murmured in a low voice. Uchiha. In front of Su Ming, there were also two figures, one large and one small. The big one is carrying the smaller one. Uchiha Itachi, and his younger brother, Uchiha Sasuke. Facing Su Ming's words, Itachi shook his head. I'm a brother too. I am also an older brother. So, I understand how you feel. If someone bullies my brother, he will not let him go either. Su Ming nodded, taking a close look at this talented boy from the Uchiha family for the first time. At the age of seven, this boy was able to think about life with the Hokage's mind and run for the village and family. A person who obviously likes sweets, but has been suffering from them all his life. However, Itachi at this time was only eight years old. According to the original work, at most he had just opened his Sharingan. But to Su Ming, this is not important. After his parents passed away, Naruto was the only one who mattered. He didn't have the heart to care about things that had nothing to do with Naruto. Su Ming took a step forward. When passing Itachi and Sasuke, Su Ming suddenly said. If you really love your brother, try to trust him and his abilities instead of constantly arranging paths for him. When he heard this, Itachi's body visibly trembled. When he came back to his senses and wanted to say something, Su Ming had already left with Naruto on his back. Itachi fell silent. After a moment, Sasuke, who was huddled on Itachi's back, raised his little head. Nisan, who is that person? He, he is a competent brother. Itachi turned around and looked at Sasuke on his back lovingly. What, Nisan, I'm not asking about that at all. I'm asking, is that person very strong? Very strong. Itachi showed a rare dignified look. The moment he drew his sword, I even felt that I would die by his sword. How could it be? Nisan is the strongest. Sasuke's eyes were full of doubts. However, thanks to his young age, Sasuke quickly forgot about it. After a moment, he looked at his brother with some excitement. Nisan, come practice with me for a while. Next time, Sasuke. 
That's it again. Forgive me, Sasuke. Itachi turned around and gently tapped Sasuke's forehead with his finger. Next time. Hokage's office. Smoke billows. The Anbu standing in front of the third Hokage subconsciously turned sideways, trying to avoid the strong smell of smoke. But only in vain. Sarutobi Hirazan put down the large smoking pot in his hand, slowly exhaled a puff of smoke, and said somewhat complicatedly. He is back. Yes. Moreover, he also picked up Uzumaki Naruto and even called the third generation lord by his first name without any respect. Anbu reported truthfully. It fits his character very well. This is what Minato was like when he was still here. Serutobi Hirazan said as if he was minding his own business. Come back, there is no need to continue monitoring. With Su Ming's character, if he continues, he will really do something to you. The Anbu hesitated, but sir, the importance of the Nine Tails Jinchuriki. I know. Serutobi Hirazan said, but you can't beat him. Can't beat it. Yes. The eyes of the Anbu wearing the dog head mask dimmed. Not only can't he defeat him, but he can't even sustain a single move, right? That is a genius that even the fourth generation of adults was surprised by. Back off. Yes. The Anbu retreated. Sarutobi Hirazan stroked his forehead, feeling a little headache. Su Ming's original mission was arranged by him after the fourth generation came to power. Although in the last ninja war, he resigned and gave way to the fourth generation. But the desire for power has never been lost. The power of the village has always been in his hands, Serutobi, not the fourth generation. The power that the fourth generation can control is very limited. Su Ming is one of them, and the one with the most potential. Therefore, he arranged an extremely difficult task for Su Ming. Although it was defined as sea level, its difficulty was at least a level. And Su Ming was only five years old when he performed that mission. It was a small country adjacent to the land of fire. Although it was small, there were countless evil people. Although there were no ninjas, it was still dangerous. The purpose of the mission is to protect the villages and towns of the fire country near that country. The mandate is for five years. Serutobi wanted to use such a task to hold Su Ming back. By then, he will have a lot of time to completely separate the fourth generation and truly take power. However, Serutobi did not expect that young Su Ming would have such a cruel heart. He picked up the mission report on the table. It shows that all 423 people in that country were killed. After three years, the task was completed. It took the shortest time. Genius, nothing more. What's more, he is still a genius stained with blood. Compared with greenhouse flowers, people like this are what Konoha needs. What's more, Konoha is short of manpower today. Looking at this report, Serutobi was a little undecided. Being soft-hearted has always been his fault. After a long time, he sighed softly and slowly left the Hokage room. After thinking about this matter, I think it would be better to go there myself. After all, Watergate is at stake. Dot dot dot. Su Ming carried Naruto back home. The home was kept very clean and had a light fragrance. The ANBU was very obedient. Work is also good. Naruto has never woken up since he fell asleep on Su Ming's back. This three-year-old child, even when he was asleep, was still holding on to Su Ming's sleeve tightly. It was as if Su Ming would leave as soon as he let go. Su Ming had no choice but to take off his coat and put Naruto on the bed. The bed board is very hard. In addition to a sheet, it was probably a dry wooden board. He looked at the room carefully. Desk, bed, wardrobe, and then, gone. Not even a decent piece of furniture. After the Anbu cleaned up, the house seemed empty. The lonely emptiness. Su Ming thought. Probably, Naruto never cleans. I just don't want this place to look so lonely, right? Under the table, there was half a carton of expired milk. Su Ming picked it up and looked at it. It had expired for more than three months. But it was mostly empty. The empty ones naturally went into Naruto's stomach. Call. He exhaled heavily, trying to calm down. At this moment, a figure suddenly appeared outside the door. Su Ming walked out without saying a word, carrying half a carton of milk. Door. Sandai looked at Su Ming with a cold expression, somewhat helpless. Su Ming, you are back. Su Ming sneered, go out and say it, don't disturb Naruto's sleep. Suddenly, the third generation looked embarrassed. Outside, 
Naruto's current life is indeed not good, but these are all to protect him. Sandai explained. You are Minato's son. You should know how attractive an underage Nine Tails Jinchuriki is to other villages. I don't know. Su Ming picked up half a carton of milk in his hand. I only know that my three-year-old brother is drinking expired milk every day and living a life without enough food and clothing. Naruto's current life is already the best life I can arrange for him. If his identity is exposed, his life will be in danger. The best life. Su Ming sneered. At the same time, he shook hard and threw out half the carton of milk in his hand. The half carton of milk drew a parabola and fell onto the garbage heap. Then, several stray cats heard the sound and rushed over, but after sniffing the smell of milk, they walked away with disgusted faces. Naruto is drinking something that even stray cats don't drink. Is this what you call the best life? Sandai didn't answer. I don't want to know your so-called reasons. I just want to ask one thing, where is my parents' inheritance? Where is the large sum of money they saved during their lifetime? I know it is all with you. Why not give it to Naruto? He is still young and cannot be kept. I asked you where you are. Looking at Su Ming, whose face was extremely cold, Sandai was silent for a long time. Finally, he sighed and said. Used up. When he said this, Sandai's eyes had already dropped, and he did not dare to look directly at Su Ming. You also know that some time ago, the conflict between the Kingdom of Thunder and us, apart from the sacrifices of the Hyuga family, everything Minato left behind was used for that. After finishing speaking, Sandai added another sentence. For the village. Ha ha, ha ha. Faced with such an answer, Su Ming could only sneer. Even ridicule. Even in his previous life, he was curious. With the strength of the four-generation couple, it was impossible that they could not save enough money to leave it to their son. But Naruto still lived an extremely poor childhood. It turned out that what they left to Naruto had been misappropriated by the third generation. Oh, the third Hokage is so hypocritical. The atmosphere was silent for a long time. Finally, Sandai wanted to say something more, but was directly interrupted by Su Ming. He looked at the third generation, his eyes were terrifyingly cold. He said, the third Hokage, let's fight. Let's have a fight. Third Hokage, let's fight. These words were spoken so abruptly, yet so naturally. Sarutobi was a little dazed, looking at Su Ming with firm eyes in a daze. For how many years, no one dared to express hostility towards him so obviously, or even invite a fight. Even Danzo, who had always coveted his position as Hokage, and even Orochimaru, who had just defected, did not have the courage to say such a thing. But now, these words were spoken from the mouth of a child. You are no match for me. Serutobi said. Su Ming didn't speak, but slowly placed his right hand on the hilt of the sword. His movements were slow. But when he made this move, Serutobi felt pressure from Su Ming. A pressure from an eight-year-old. Serutobi still wanted to dissuade him. You have to believe in me and the village chief, and he will take good care of Ming. Before Serutobi could finish his words, he was completely shattered by a burst of wind. Then, laugh, the sword was suddenly drawn out. Serutobi's pupils suddenly widened, and the pressure that had just enveloped him continued to increase. He even felt that if he continued not to defend himself, he would pay a very heavy price. He even subconsciously formed a seal to summon the ape demon. He leaned back and began to back away. But, it's too late. A ray of sword light suddenly struck, cutting through the air, and struck Serutobi without any fancy. As the third Hokage, a man known as the ninja hero, his combat experience is extremely rich. For ordinary ninjas, even if it was a sneak attack, Serutobi would be able to react and react in the shortest possible time. But facing this frontal attack, he miscalculated. Tick tock. Blood dripped onto the ground. A very long gap was opened on Serutobi's arm. Blood gurgled. Serutobi's eyes widened, looking at all this in disbelief. Even at this moment, he couldn't believe that he was actually injured. Clang. The sword is sheathed. Su Ming turned around without even looking at Sandai. I will take care of Naruto's affairs. If the third generation has nothing else to do, please come back. Oh, dot you kid. Serutobi sighed. I've always kept Minato's house. You can move in tomorrow, but you can only move there by yourself, not Naruto. Facing the third generation, Su Ming did not stop. 
His only response was a cold snort. The cold snort was full of mockery. Seru Tobi could only leave. Today was the most powerless moment since he became Hokage. Face a child. Even during the last world war, Seru Tobi was not as helpless as he is today. He had indeed treated Naruto badly and failed to do what Minato had asked him to do. But, Seru Tobi, who was halfway there, looked back at Su Ming, who could no longer see his figure. It is impossible to change his mind. Even though Su Ming came back and added a lot of variables, he still had to go on as he wanted. Kayubi can only be Konoha's Kayubi. Su Ming did not enter the house directly at this moment. It was still early and Naruto was still sleeping. He was recalling the battle he had just fought with Sandai. The third generation is indeed very strong. With his current strength, he is absolutely unbeatable. Even though he has a golden finger. But, he still wants to fight. But for Naruto. Even if you have a golden finger, reaching the level of Serutobi will not happen overnight. The golden finger he possesses is a system called the King of Glory template. Under Su Ming's thoughts, a transparent template appeared in his mind. Host. Su Ming. World. Naruto World. Unlock template. King of Glory World. Tachibana Yukio. Unlock percentage. 4.2%. When the template progress reaches 5%, the first characteristic of the template character will be unlocked. Tachibana Yukio template features. Sharp. When the template progress reaches 20%, the next character template will be unlocked. Template points, 25. Daily task, practice swordsmanship, reward 0.2% template progress completed. This template system is extremely simple. By completing daily tasks, you can unlock the corresponding template and gain the ability of the template. When he fought against the third generation just now, the Iijutsu he used came from Yukio Tachibana in the template. He was a talented swordsman and a lonely swordsman. But it is undeniable that his swordsmanship is strong, and when practiced to the extreme, he can kill. Cut them all off. The world of Naruto is a very dangerous world. Even Su Ming, who has a system, has encountered several life and death battles. But he survived. And let his sword be stained with blood. A sword stained with blood is a precious sword. Su Ming shook his head to make his thoughts clearer. Then, he looked to the side of the room, the only corner where he could hide. Come out. Itachi. Have you been here for a long time? Just after Su Ming finished speaking, Itachi's figure slowly appeared in the corner. As expected of you, Ming Sang. Itachi was not shy about his praise. To be able to strike out with a sword like that and injure three generations of masters, you should be the number one genius in Konoha. Su Ming didn't answer. The number one genius in Konoha was indeed Su Ming before. However, after Su Ming went out on a mission, his reputation was deliberately erased. Therefore, it fell on Weasel. But there was no real competition between the two. Because Su Ming went out too early, the two of them almost never met. But at this time, when Itachi was speaking, Su Ming noticed the meaning of his words. Such a sword. This meant that Itachi saw clearly when he drew his sword. Not even three generations could see that sword clearly. But Itachi. Really. Have you activated your Sharingan yet? Judging by the time, it was indeed time for Itachi to open his eyes at this time. Is something wrong? Thinking of this, Su Ming looked at Itachi and said slowly. Why did you say that to me on that day, Ming Sang? Itachi asked. If one day, the village and the family are on opposite sides, the conflict between the two is irreconcilable, and you are the only link between the two. What will you do? Su Ming asked instead of answering Itachi's question. What will be done? Are you accepting Konoha's order to kill all the clan members? Su Ming didn't say what he said clearly, but it touched Itachi deeply enough. Itachi fell silent. There was a depth in his eyes that an eight-year-old child shouldn't have. A long time. I. You don't have to rush to answer. Su Ming smiled. Let's have a fight, for each other's strength. Chi Chi. Itachi was stunned. Yes. Su Ming nodded. Of course, not now. If it were now, my lovely brother would wake up. After saying this, Su Ming stretched out. Before Itachi could react, he was actually in front of him. He reached out and put his finger on Itachi's forehead. Next time, Itachi. When Itachi came to his senses, Su Ming's figure had already disappeared. Then, a cheerful voice sounded from the nearby room. 
Brother, I'm hungry. Then let's go eat ramen. Miso. Yeah. Brother is the best. I want to eat a big bowl. Haha, ha, I'll make you hold on until you can't walk anymore. In the early morning, before the sun rose, there was already a figure of a young man wielding a sword. A sword. Two swords. Count swords. Su Ming's face was full of seriousness. He was obviously not a big man, but the moment he held the sword, he gave people the feeling of an adult. In particular, it can make people feel a sense of security that they have never experienced before. When people look at it, they can't help but believe it. If you ask Su Ming the reason for this, he will definitely say that it was passed down from his father. The golden shining man, known as the little sun. This is exactly the same as Naruto. The daily task given by the system today is to swing the sword a thousand times. Su Ming held the long sword in his hand and kept swinging it. Draw your sword. Draw your sword. Draw the sword again. Since he got up in the morning, he has swung 723 swords. Such a large number of swords is not a small load for his current body. But, Su Ming did not stop. He wants to become stronger. Whether it's to avenge his parents. Still to protect this, still weak, younger brother. He has reasons to become stronger. 997. 998. 999. 1000. Su Ming exhaled heavily and immediately sheathed his sword. At this time, a voice sounded in his ears. Ding, congratulations to the host for completing a thousand sword swing tasks. The reward system template progress will be 0.8%. You have unlocked the system's first template feature, Fengrui. Sharp. Template feature from Yukio Tachibana. Even though he had traveled through time, Su Ming still remembered the figure of Yukio Tachibana in the game. That sword that cuts through everything and is extremely sharp. But now, he has gained the same ability. Is this ability strong? Very strong. Because he portrayed the word, cut, to the extreme. In the extreme, nothing can be cut. Even if it's an illusion. Sudden. The wind blew, and a fallen leaf slowly fell from the air, and it happened to fall on Su Ming's hanging sword. Then, without any pause, the fallen leaves separated directly and became two halves. Su Ming narrowed his eyes, his eyes shining brightly. Dot dot dot. Um, brother, are you here? The door was opened, and when Su Ming turned around, he saw the little head exposed at the door. The corners of his mouth curled up into a slight smile. Wake up. Yeah, I don't know what happened yesterday, but I slept for so long. I used to get up very early. Naruto is awesome. Walking forward, Su Ming touched Naruto's head lovingly, and then walked into the house. Wash up, it's time to eat later. Eat. Dot eat. Naruto looked a little surprised when he heard these two words. You can't skip breakfast while you're still growing. Su Ming smiled and said, go quickly. Yeah. Naruto nodded heavily, and then ran to wash up. Su Ming shook his head helplessly. However, when he turned his eyes and glanced at the bed, intending to tidy it up, he suddenly found that the bed was extremely neat. Neat and clean. Even the clothes Su Ming changed into yesterday were neatly folded. Su Ming couldn't help but be stunned when he saw this scene. Brother, I've washed it. Naruto's figure suddenly appeared. When he found Su Ming looking at the bed in a daze, the little figure suddenly became panicked. Then, he lowered his head. I, I didn't mean to touch my brother's things, I, I just, wanted to help. Puff. Naruto, who thought he would be punished, heard Su Ming's laughter. Look up. A big hand fell on his head without any warning. Su Ming ruffled Naruto's hair unscrupulously. This is the first time I have seen such ugly folded clothes. My stupid brother, I will teach you next time. Nonsense, I folded it so it doesn't look ugly. Naruto, who was originally extremely nervous, suddenly turned red and said with some dissatisfaction. Su Ming laughed. Although the folded clothes were disliked by his brother, at this moment, the smile on Naruto's face became more sincere. Brother, he said he wanted to teach me. Dot dot dot. Outside the Konoha Maruko shop. Brother, aren't we going to eat ramen? Naruto looked confused. Try other foods. Maybe Naruto will find something more delicious than ramen. Su Ming said. But, Naruto patted his shriveled pocket, his face drooping. I have no money. Ha ha. Seeing Naruto like this, Su Ming felt a little bit dumbfounded, but also a little sad. 
Why does Naruto like ramen, from beginning to end? Su Ming thought, this was probably the only delicious thing he had eaten when he was a child, right? Other delicacies are not not delicious, but they are simply unavailable. Don't worry, brother is rich. Su Ming took Naruto into the meatball shop and ordered two plates of meatballs. Eating and waiting. Of the two plates of meatballs, Su Ming only ate a few symbolically, and the rest went into Naruto's stomach. Even after finishing the last one, Naruto still felt a little unfinished. Su Ming smiled and asked for two more plates for Naruto. Bringing Naruto to the meatball shop was not accidental, Su Ming came here to wait for someone. Wait for one, the guy with a sweet tooth. After a while, as two people wearing Uchiha costumes walked in, Su Ming stretched out his arms and waved there. Then Itachi and Sasuke came over. Four people per table. Itachi also ordered a plate of meatballs, and after eating one, he gave them all to Sasuke as an excuse. Then, the two little guys, Naruto and Sasuke, ate meatballs face to face. Until the end, the two little guys even looked at each other and started competing involuntarily. Su Ming smiled helplessly. Probably, this is the bond between Asura and Indra. Boss, let's have another plate. Su Ming shouted to the boss. A plate of meatballs was brought up. After Su Ming ate one, he pushed the plate directly in front of Itachi. I'm stuffed. Su Ming stretched and said, the rest is yours. After all, it's not good for children to eat too many sweets. Listening to Su Ming's words, Itachi seemed to know that he couldn't refuse. The man in front of me, whom I had only met twice, seemed to have figured him out. He brought the meatball over and chewed it slowly. Itachi himself didn't even notice that his frowned brows had quietly relaxed. Then I indulged in the enjoyment of sweets. Is it tasty? Su Ming suddenly asked. This question made Itachi tremble. At that moment, he subconsciously put down all his defenses and immersed himself in the enjoyment. This. Is this Ming Sang's power? Before Itachi could think about it carefully, Su Ming's voice came over again. We agreed to have a fight after you finish eating. Hearing Su Ming's words, Itachi subconsciously put down the ball and stood up. However, Su Ming had long expected that he would be like this, so he said again. Wasting food is not the role model that an older brother should set for his younger brother. With these words, Itachi was pinned down on his seat as he was about to get up and he could only finish the meatballs obediently. The two little ones next to Su Ming and Su Ming involuntarily looked at each other after hearing the word fight. In their eyes, moving little stars flashed. Brother, if you say something bad, I will beat you up. Konoha training ground. Two figures faced each other. Itachi and Su Ming. The expression on Itachi's face was particularly solemn. Because he had already felt the pressure coming from Su Ming. Although he hadn't taken action yet, the pressure had already made him sweat slightly on his forehead. Su Ming, on the other hand, looked relaxed. He carefully looked at this Uchiha genius boy, who was only 13 years old and was able to destroy an entire family of men. Although, there is still Obito's handwriting in it. But it is undeniable that Itachi is powerful. 13-year-old kaleidoscope. This talent is too terrifying. No need to worry at all. Su Ming said. Use all your strength, don't worry about hurting me. Su Ming put his hand on the hilt of the sword. Itachi subconsciously took half a step back. Because he had seen Su Ming use this move to hurt the third Hokage. Must be on guard. But he quickly realized that simply retreating would not work. Attack was the best defense. Next moment. Five shurikens appeared in Itachi's hand, and he threw them out instantly. Five shurikens were fired from five directions, suddenly towards Su Ming. All Su Ming's escape routes were blocked. Amazing. At this moment, Sasuke, who was sitting on the outside of the training ground, stared at this scene in a daze. Full of shock. However, before he could marvel at his brother's strength. I saw a cold light coming, and then. Ding 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 ding. With five extremely clear sounds, the five shurikens were directly strung together. Just one sword attack broke the seemingly perfect attack. Sasuke's pupil suddenly widened. My brother's opponent is so strong. As for this scene, Naruto had long been stunned. There was only one thought in his mind at this time. Brother, he is so handsome. However, this was not the end. Su Ming held the long sword in his hand and slashed with the force. 
With that unparalleled speed, he appeared in front of Itachi almost instantly. Itachi's pupils widened. Retreat subconsciously. But, it's too late. Laugh. The long sword slashed horizontally. Itachi's body was cut into two pieces, and then disappeared with a bang. Shadow clone. The corners of Su Ming's mouth curled up slightly. Such a fighting talent is worthy of Itachi. However, this kind of battle is more interesting. From the side, five more shurikens were thrown. Su Ming raised his sword to block, and at the same time, his figure disappeared again and appeared in front of Itachi. Swing your sword and slash vertically. What a speed. Itachi's pupils widened again. In his pupils, two scarlet magatama instantly appeared. Sharingan. Laugh. The sword hit the ground. Half of the sword body was instantly submerged. Itachi also avoided the blow again. Looking at the long sword that was already half submerged in the ground, Itachi's horror was indescribable. As a member of the Uchiha clan, I have always been proud. The word pride is almost engraved in the bones of the Uchiha people. Uchiha is very strong. This is something that both the original Madara, the current Itachi, and even generations of Hokages firmly believe in. Otherwise, the third generation and even Danzo would not be so afraid of the Uchiha clan. The most powerful thing among the Uchiha clan is the Sharingan. But now, Itachi, who had clearly activated his Sharingan, found that he was still suppressed. He attacked several times in an attempt to reverse the situation, but found that everything was in vain. Why? There were clearly no traces of blood inheritance limits on his body. This proves that Ming San is just an ordinary ninja. But why are ordinary ninjas so strong? During the moment of the battle, Itachi had a lot on his mind. But the more I think about it, the more doubtful I become. The doubt in Itachi's heart was that even if Su Ming knew about it, he still couldn't explain to him what hanging on the wall with a system meant. Itachi couldn't understand either. So, fight. It is the easiest to experience it in battle. Ding. Avoiding Su Ming's attack, Itachi threw his shuriken and retreated. At the same time, after pulling away, his hands quickly formed seals. I have to say that Itachi's seal formation speed is terrifyingly fast. For example, when Itachi and Sasuke fought in the previous life, the speed of seal formation was no longer considered as letting go of water, it was completely like letting go of the Pacific Ocean. Within a moment, the seal on Itachi's hand had been formed. Then, he opened his mouth to inhale and spit it out suddenly. Art fire escape ho fireball. Suddenly, a huge fireball appeared and hit Su Ming directly. The power of the fireball was beyond what a genin could use. The overwhelming firelight illuminated the entire training ground, and also illuminated the pale faces of Naruto and Sasuke. Fire, fire escape. Sasuke looked at this scene and was completely dumbfounded. He had no idea that his brother could have such a powerful ninjutsu. At the same time, when he saw Itachi using this ninjutsu, a sense of pride arose spontaneously. He wanted to shout, this is my brother. However, Sasuke glanced around and found no one else. There is only one kid who is smaller than himself. Does such a child know what ninjutsu is? Sasuke couldn't help but think. But even so, Sasuke still touched Naruto next to him with his arm, like a proud peacock, and couldn't help but said. See, that's my brother. That's our Uchiha's fire release. At this moment, a cold light suddenly appeared, and the huge fireball that rushed towards Su Ming was cut into two halves. Su Ming's figure holding a sword slowly appeared. Naruto snorted coldly, so what? It's not like I can't block my brother's sword. I think this escape is nothing more than that. What did you say? Sasuke glared, how dare you say it again? I'm telling you. Naruto was not to be outdone, Baden. It's not good. Just after Naruto finished speaking, Sasuke, who looked angry, punched Naruto directly. You're not allowed to say that. After being punched, Naruto naturally couldn't bear it. Not to be outdone, he punched Sasuke in the face. Immediately, Sasuke's face became swollen. Then, the two little ones struggled together. But in the training ground, the battle between Su Ming and Su Ming stopped. Itachi looked at the calm Su Ming with a wry smile, Ming Sang, I lost. Not only did he lose, he lost simply. There was no chakra left in his body, but Ming Sang still looked relaxed. Itachi felt deeply frustrated. They are all human, but the gap is so huge. 
You are already strong, but the training intensity is not enough. Su Ming looked at Itachi. Training intensity. Itachi was silent for a moment, then suddenly raised his head, with a bit of hope in his eyes, Ming Sang, can I train with you in the future? I hope to be qualified as Ming Sang's spirit. Quote. Itachi spoke very firmly. Su Ming thought about it and found that there seemed to be no reason to refuse. Yes, as long as you are not afraid of hardship. I'm not afraid. Itachi said firmly. This matter was settled like this. The battle is over and it's almost time to go home. Then, the two of them turned around and suddenly discovered that the two little ones were missing. Um. The two looked at each other, both stunned. Finally, they were found in a patch of grass. It is worth mentioning that when they were discovered, the two little ones were badly damaged and their faces were swollen. As soon as he was discovered, Sasuke stopped immediately, ran to Itachi's side crying, and complained. Brother, Naruto bullied me, woo woo woo. As for Naruto, although he had also reached Su Ming's side, he was clenching his fists and looking fierce. If you say anything bad about my brother again, I'll beat you to death. The little boy looks fierce, but also has a certain ruthlessness. Su Ming and Itachi looked at each other and smiled. There seems to be a good friendship between these two little ones. Your biggest problem is actually thinking too much. On the way back, Itachi couldn't help but smile bitterly as he recalled what Su Ming said to him before leaving. Thinking too much. However, now he can already see a lot about the relationship between the village and the clan. How can this not make me think too much? The more he understands Uchiha, the more Itachi realizes how powerful his clan is. If the two are really irreconcilable, then Itachi's expression became more serious. At this moment, he suddenly thought, how great it would be if someone could be with him. Unknowingly, Su Ming's figure appeared in Itachi's mind. Shaking his head, Itachi continued to smile bitterly. Nisan, my body hurts. At this time, Sasuke, who was walking beside Itachi, said with a sad face. Itachi smiled slightly and then waved to Sasuke. Come up, Sasuke. Sasuke lay on his brother's back with a happy look on his face. At this moment, he is just a child who relies on his brother. The other side. Su Ming looked at Naruto beside him, feeling helpless. He originally wanted to carry Naruto home, but unexpectedly, he was rejected by Naruto. The reason for rejection is, my brother has already had a fight and is very tired. I can leave on my own. It's so sensible that it makes people feel distressed. Su Ming shook his head. Although Naruto in his previous life could not fully understand Urzu's extreme pain after losing his loved ones, at this moment, when he has his loved ones, he must know how to cherish them more. This is something that Urzu also cannot understand. You feel that your world has fallen into darkness, so it is painful, but you have never thought that his world has never been bright before. So even if there is a little bit of light, I will try my best to catch it. When Su Ming came back to his senses, he saw Naruto who looked confused. Brother, where are we going? This is not the way home. It's indeed not the way home. Su Ming rubbed Naruto's head habitually and said softly. Winter is coming, let's go buy some winter clothes. Oh. Naruto nodded. At some point, Naruto learned to be obedient, to follow his brother's arrangements, and to enjoy it. Finally, he was no longer alone. Su Ming took Naruto and turned into the nearby clothing store. However, when he was about to enter, Su Ming noticed a figure at the door of the store. The most conspicuous thing about that figure is that it has an extremely rare, Tuanzi nose. He is wearing a dark high-collared short-sleeved top and triangular protective gear, and he is wearing pants of the same color and leggings. There is also a Kodachi behind his back. Just like the figure in his memory, when he saw the figure, his name already appeared in Su Ming's mind. Shisui. Uchiha Shisui. But the two didn't have much intersection. After looking at each other, they nodded with a smile and moved away. Su Ming took Naruto into the clothing store. There were not many people in the clothing store, or no one at all. The overall color tone is darker. As for the clothes, surprisingly, they are all thick clothes and the sizes are too small. If you look carefully, you will see that they are all the right size for Naruto. Even in a children's clothing store, such a coincidence is impossible. So, there can only be one situation. Illusion. Shunshin Shisui's name is well known in the ninja world. 
Calmly, Su Ming put his hand on the hilt of the sword. Suddenly he drew his sword and stabbed diagonally backward. Laugh. The sword penetrated the wall. Most of the sword's blade was submerged. The scene in front of me also began to change. The difference was that when Su Ming saw it, he found that the boss who originally looked at Naruto with disgust quickly turned away from his disgust and was replaced by fear under this sword. Before he had time to shout, Su Ming's cold eyes swept over him instantly. Buying clothes. The same cold voice. After making the boss tremble for a moment, he had to step forward to say hello. Based on Su Ming's perception, he naturally knew that Zishui had left. Although he didn't understand Shisui's intention of casting illusions on him, it seemed like things were going well now. At least now, the shop owner in front of him seemed particularly enthusiastic when greeting Naruto. Even his title changed to Master Naruto. This should be the kind of treatment only Konohamaru has. Buying clothes was very fast, and I even received a lot less money in the end. Now, Suming couldn't tell whether it was due to Shisui or the sword he had stuck on the wall of the clothing store. But Naruto was happy. This is enough. Brother, that boss is really nice. Naruto looked a little excited on the way. In the past, few bosses would sell me things, and even if they did, it would cost a lot of money. In response to Naruto's words, Suming just smiled and rubbed his head. At the same time, his determination to protect Naruto became even stronger. After returning home, Su Ming saw Zishui again. It was obvious that Shisui was waiting for him. Su Ming rubbed Naruto's head, you go home first, this brother and I have something to talk about. Okay, okay. Naruto obediently hugged the clothes and went home. Is this your brother? He's very cute. After Naruto left, Shisui came over. Much cuter than Sasuke. This is Shisui's comment. Su Ming just smiled at this. He looked at Naruto's back and suddenly asked Shisui. Don't you think he is scary? After all, in the village, he is known as the, demon fox. Is it scary? Shisui shook his head, he is just a child. Even if it is scary, it is only the Kyubi that is scary. What does it have to do with Naruto? Su Ming was a little surprised. This was the first time he heard comments about Kyubi and Naruto. He always thought that the Uchiha clan would have other opinions about Naruto and Kaiubi, especially Shisui. After all, the Nine Tails rebellion and the crime of controlling the Nine Tails were forcibly placed on Uchiha. As a talented boy in the clan, Shisui is undoubtedly the key target of suspicion. But he didn't expect that he would hear such a fair answer. For Naruto now, this is indeed a fair answer. Unfortunately, Su Ming shook his head. Normally, Shisui and Naruto wouldn't have much interaction. Actually, in comparison, I think you are more terrifying. Shisui looked at Su Ming and said word by word. Obviously there is no blood inheritance limit on my body, but it is able to suppress my clan's Sharingan, and even silently break my illusion. Enrolled at the age of three. It only took half a month to graduate from school and obtain the ninja qualification. When I was five years old, I went on a mission alone. It took three years to destroy a country and complete what seemed to be a C-level mission, but it is a task that is far more difficult. To be honest, if you are not the adopted son of the fourth generation, I would really suspect that you are an undercover agent sent by other ninja villages. Undercover. Su Ming smiled. Have you ever seen an undercover agent with such a high level of talent? Which ninja village would be so stupid? As for the explanation, like Itachi, Su Ming really couldn't explain what kind of existence hanging on the wall was. So, just let Shisui guess. Use your little Uchiha brain. Want a fight? Suddenly, Zishui looked at Su Ming with some longing. Like you and Itachi. Unexpectedly, Zishui, who thought he would be accepted, was directly rejected by Su Ming. Su Ming shook his head and said, let's change the time. Although, I do want to meet Suzano, the Uchiha clan, but I can't do that now. Su Ming pointed to the little head exposed by the window next to him and smiled slightly, it's rest time now. Shisui was stunned and looked at Naruto beside him. Then he shook his head. Sure enough, being able to play with Itachi is also a disciple control. Then, he suddenly recalled Su Ming's words. Suzano. Shisui's pupils suddenly shrank. How did he know? Before Jisui could ask again, Su Ming had already turned around and left with a wave of his hand. Looking at Su Ming's back, 
Zishui's eyes gradually became serious. Ming Seng. He is indeed the man Itachi likes. Su Ming walked to the house. Open the door. Naruto, who had been prepared for a long time, rushed forward and hung directly on Su Ming like a sloth. In response, Su Ming smiled slightly. Oh, this cute little brother is so clingy. However, this feeling seems good. Dot dot dot. Ding ding ding. As a few soft sounds came, Itachi put down the shurikens in his hands and looked at Su Ming with a wry smile. Ming Sang, you have become stronger again. Itachi's smile was bitter. As a genius within the clan, the son of the Uchiha clan leader has been a ninja with the reputation of being a genius since he was a child. Now he finds that the gap between himself and Ming Sang is getting wider and wider. Well, you're pretty good too. You lasted a lot longer than last time. But, compared to Ming Sang, this is still far behind. Itachi felt helpless. Don't worry, Itachi. Suddenly, Su Ming's body appeared in front of Itachi, smiled slightly, and tapped Itachi's forehead with his fingers. You're just a child. You are still just a child. Such intimate words and intimate movements made Itachi blush. Moreover, faced with such an action, Itachi had no intention of avoiding it. Ming Sang is so strong, how could I avoid him? If you can't avoid it, just enjoy it. Anyway, it's not the first time. Thinking of this, Itachi's face turned even redder. Although he didn't know what Itachi was thinking, Su Ming shook his head and was too lazy to answer. He turned around and started looking for Naruto. In the past few days, Itachi came to him for training almost every day. Of course, when Itachi came here, Berzuzi, who was a follower, naturally followed him. Then, when they were training, Berzu and Naruto often played together. The relationship between the two little ones also goes up and down. On good days, the two children can only lick a lollipop together. As for the bad times, that's really cruel. Two small figures were missing this time, and it was unclear where they had gone. Really. When Su Ming found the two of them, the scene was a bit miserable. Not to mention the dust on his body, at this moment, Naruto stretched out his little hand and grabbed something between Urzu's legs, which seemed to be quite strong. As for the pillar, it seemed to be in severe pain and he bit Naruto's shoulder directly. Don't tell me, even though this was the case, no one cried. Seeing this scene, Su Ming quickly stepped forward and separated the two. There was a row of teeth marks on Naruto's shoulder, which really looked like they were bitten by his wife. As for Sasuke, Su Ming even felt that if he came a little later, he would have no choice but to go to Orochimaru, who had rebelled not long ago, and ask him to have a romantic change operation. Is this what my daughter-in-law has been raising since she was a child? Is Nazuo really in love? Su Ming was helpless. But this scene is already a daily routine for the two little ones. Itachi was also helpless. This was the case today, and they were hanging out again the next day. Finally, Itachi left with Sasuke who looked aggrieved. This time, when the second pillar complained, even Su Ming was too embarrassed to say anything for Naruto. After all, I was really hard when I grabbed it, and it's still red now. Fortunately, nothing happened. Otherwise, once Itachi destroys the Uchiha clan, wouldn't Uchiha have no choice but to? It seems that marrying Naruto is also a good choice, Su Ming suddenly thought. Shaking his head and rubbing Naruto's hanging head, Su Ming looked helpless. Okay, okay, it's time to eat, stop pretending. Hey hey. Naruto looked up and laughed playfully. Let's go eat ramen. Yeah, Yil is an extremely magical store. Su Ming remembered that the Ichiraku ramen shop had been open in the Naruto world for a very long time. It seemed that no matter what disaster happened, after the disaster passed, the ramen shop could be rebuilt with original personnel. Therefore, Su Ming remembered that in his previous life, the ramen shop owner was nicknamed Otsutsuki Ichiraku. Of course, Su Ming had clearly sensed that he was indeed an ordinary person, not a ninja. The so-called Otsutsuki Ichiraku is just a fabrication. After eating the ramen, on the way back, a large group and a small group were walking down the street. What was different from before was that Naruto, who was originally in high spirits, suddenly seemed a little silent. What's wrong? Su Ming asked aloud. Elder brother. Um. What kind of people are our parents? Naruto said slowly after a long silence. 
I asked my third generation grandfather many times, and he always said that our parents died when the nine-tailed demon fox attacked the village. But, I don't want to hear this. Suddenly, Naruto raised his little face, his eyes full of desire. I want to know, who are they? What kind of people are they? Zuzi, he also has a father and a mother. On his birthday, someone celebrates him, cooks for him, and loves him. But I. I don't. Brother, I'm so envious. I also want, my father and mother. When he said this, Naruto's little face was already full of tears. Where's our dad? He has golden hair, just like Naruto. A look of reminiscence appeared on Su Ming's face, and he slowly recounted the past of the fourth Hokage, Minato Namikaze. Battle after battle, story after story, bit by bit. However, before Naruto could finish listening to the story Su Ming told, he fell into a deep sleep. Carrying Naruto on his back, Su Ming made a decision. He remembered that his father's chakra existed in Naruto's body. There is undoubtedly part of the soul in the chakra. It can appear after touching the nine tails seal. But, that's only temporary. It cannot last long. He remembered that there was an immortal talisman in the system template mall. That immortal talisman can stabilize the soul. As long as the soul is stable and has enough chakra, the father can theoretically appear. There are still 20 points left for the template points used to redeem the immortal talisman. As for chakra, Kyubi's is fine. While carrying Naruto on his back, Su Ming's voice suddenly sounded. Kyubi, I think we can talk. My first birthday gift to you. Kyubi, we can talk. After Su Ming said these words, he became aware of the sealed space. Within the Bagua seal, there was a huge cage. Inside the cage, a red nine-tailed fox lay lying inside. The power of hatred and evil rushed towards him. Nine Lamas. After noticing someone coming in, the lying nine lama slowly opened his eyes. After seeing Su Ming, he was a little surprised. It's you, kid. Lama Ju, long time no see. Su Ming smiled and greeted the nine lamas. He and nine lamas met earlier than Naruto and nine lamas. After all, he was five years older than Naruto. Before, he had entered the sealed space with his ideology. Of course, after getting Kashina's consent. However, only the carefree Kashina could do such a thing for a five-year-old child to realize that he could enter the sealed space and see Kyubi. Anyone else would not agree. At that time, Su Ming and Ju Lama established a fairly good friendship. In the words of the nine Lamas, Su Ming is the only human being who is pleasing to the eye except the old man Lu Dao. Of course, it may also be related to the fact that Su Ming, who drank too much for the first time when the two met, chopped off his beard with a sword. But anyway, when facing Su Ming Zi, Ju Lama will be relatively calm. What, kid, do you want to see me if you have something to do? Ju Lama tilted his head, leaving Su Ming with a side view. If you have anything, please tell me quickly and don't disturb my sleep. Su Ming was a little helpless. Even though he was half sealed by the ghoul, nine lamas remained unchanged and still so lazy. I really have something to do with you, Su Ming said. What's up? I'll lend you some chakra. Su Ming did not tell the nine lamas about the plan. After all, although the nine lamas did not say anything about Minato who sealed him, he still held a grudge. It is worth mentioning that this is an extremely vengeful fox. Especially to those who have sealed themselves. Hashirama is like this. The same goes for Namikaze Minato. If Su Ming tells the nine lamas about his plan to resurrect Namikaze Minato, there's no telling what the nine lamas will do. So to be on the safe side, it's better not to tell. Fireproof, burglarproof and foxproof. Here, Kyubi stretched out his claws, and from in front of his claws, a small ball of chakra that resembled a tailed beast jade slowly appeared. After looking at the amount of chakra, Su Ming curled up his lips. Don't tell me, Kyubi is really awesome. Thanks, Nine Lamas. After receiving the Nine Tails chakra, Su Ming waved towards the Nine Tails. Don't worry, I will let you out. After all, we are friends. Hearing this, the nine lamas turned their heads away proudly, and immediately closed their eyes with a look of disdain. Only after Su Ming left, the corners of nine lamas' lips slowly turned upward, revealing an inadvertent smile. Kid, after all these years, I didn't expect to still remember it. I have forgotten it a long time ago. 
When he was five years old, Su Ming met Zhu Lama for the first time. Su Ming, who was still young that day and had not drunk much, was caught by Jiraiya and drank hard. Then when he entered the sealed space, he even walked unsteadily. However, such a brat actually cut off his own beard with a sword. Julama recalled the look in Su Ming's eyes that day. What he saw seemed to be a wild beast. His equal to the beast. This is also the reason why Ju Lama is willing to make friends with Su Ming. In his opinion, they are on the same level. After cutting off his beard with a sword, Su Ming patted his chest and told the nine lamas, Don't worry, I will rescue you in the future. I will set you free. Then, he leaned next to the nine lamas and fell asleep. This little devil. Thinking of this, Julama couldn't help but curl up his lips again. You are really brave. You are the first one to sleep next to me. As for the nine lamas taking action against Su Ming. What a joke, he, the majestic nine lamas, the lord of the tailed beasts, would be shameless when he attacks a five-year-old child. Even if others are willing, you have to ask him if the nine lamas are willing. After leaving the sealed space, Su Ming returned home and put the sleeping Naruto on the bed. The following days were as usual. The difference was that from that day on, Naruto never talked about his parents again. Not even once. However, when playing with the pillars, I would be in a daze from time to time. Even when Urzuzu pretended to be ugly and deliberately made Naruto laugh, he didn't seem to notice it. In this way, time passed slowly. After completing the new daily tasks, his template points also accumulated to 100 points. Then, open the template mall, find the immortal talisman, and click redeem. A white light flashed, and a piece of talisman paper with the word, immortal, written on it appeared in Su Ming's palm. Today is the same as usual. On the way back from the ramen shop, Su Ming carried Naruto on his back and asked with a smile. Naruto, it's your birthday tomorrow, is there any gift you want? Gift. Naruto was confused for a moment. For so many years, he had spent his birthday alone. Even when it was his birthday, sometimes Naruto would force himself to forget. Because he is afraid of seeing the excitement outside and can't help but cry when he is alone. A man who wants to become Hokage must not cry. Have no idea. Naruto shook his head. Then it's up to me to decide. Su Ming rubbed Naruto's head with a doting look on his face. Good. Naruto agreed, while also feeling a little hopeful. After all, this counts as his first real birthday. The two go home. Naruto was so excited that he went to bed very late because of the birthday gift. Early the next morning, Su Ming was woken up early. I want to see my birthday present. Su Ming smiled and touched Naruto's head lovingly again. Su Ming asked Naruto. Naruto, have you seen the nine-tailed fox inside you? Naruto was stunned, brother knows about him. When the nine lamas were mentioned, Naruto's face fell. He's so fierce. Ha ha. Su Ming laughed. No need to think about it, it must be the nine lama who scared Naruto. The nine lama's character likes to scare children. Let's go see him again. Don't worry, this time we go together, he won't be cruel to you again. Su Ming said in order to reassure Naruto. The gift I prepared for you is also there. That's right. Naruto agreed with a bitter look on his face. Sudden. Su Ming pulled Naruto, and his consciousness appeared directly in the sealed space. Hey, two little devils, what are you going to do? Kayubi shook his huge body and looked at the two of them. Ju Lama, keep your voice down, don't scare Naruto. Su Ming reminded. TCH, boring. Ninth Lama turned his head proudly and refused to admit it. It's just a little brat, I'm going to scare him. Su Ming was too lazy to pay attention to him. He just squeezed Naruto's little hand and said, it's about to begin. Then, under the astonished gaze of the nine lamas, he directly tore off the talisman paper. The moment the talisman paper was torn off, a golden light suddenly appeared. That's Namikaze Minato, their father. A golden light flashed. A figure with yellow hair and blue eyes, wearing a white Hokage robe, a jonin green vest and a blue tights inside appeared. His name, Namikaze Minato. The fourth Hokage. Boom. When Namikaze Minato appeared, Ninetales instantly became furious, and the evil chakra surged instantly, and at the same time, he slapped a claw on the prison cell in front of him. 
At this moment, it seemed as if the person in front of him was going to be completely torn into pieces. Namakaze Minato. That was the angry roar of Kayubi. The current Kurama has not been relieved of the hatred in his heart by Naruto. There is no doubt that after seeing Namakaze Minato who sealed him, he feels like he is seeing an enemy. And when Namakaze Minato saw clearly the furious Kayubi in front of him, he had no time to observe the situation in front of him. After seeing Naruto and the two, he immediately picked them up and put them aside. At the same time, the Hokage's robe was displayed, and Namakaze Minato stood directly in front of Su Ming and Su Ming. The nine-tailed chakra riot was all blocked by Minato. Kayubi, come at me if you have any questions, don't hurt the two children. However, at this moment, a voice suddenly came from behind Kayubi. Wait a minute, nine llamas. This is Su Ming's voice. Kid, is this your plan? The nine llamas looked at Su Ming behind him through Namakaze Minato, with some dissatisfaction in his eyes. Dot dot dot. The other side. Hokage's office. The third generation, who was holding a cigarette pot in his mouth, suddenly froze, this feeling is. Kayubi. Oh no, there must be something wrong with the seal. Suddenly, Sandai's expression changed and he immediately ordered. Anbu, follow me. Something happened to the Jinchuriki. Whoosh whoosh. Several figures disappeared instantly and rushed towards the house where Naruto was. On the way, the eyes of the third generation kept flickering. Could it be that there are other villages that want to attack the nine-tailed Jinchuriki? But, there is no news from outside the country. Dot dot dot. Within the sealed space. Ju Lama was a little unhappy, very unhappy. The reason for his displeasure was not that the brat Su Ming had released the fourth generation, but that the brat didn't discuss it with him. Kid, you better give me an explanation. After realizing that what was in front of him was just the chakra left by Namikaze Minato in Naruto's body, the nine lamas calmed down, and then looked at Su Ming arrogantly, waiting for an explanation. Looking at Namikaze Minato's equally confused look, Su Ming felt a little embarrassed. Isn't this Naruto's birthday? I want to give him a surprise. Namikaze Minato. Is this a surprise? This is so frightening. It's Naruto's birthday, let Kayubi come out to cheer up. When the time comes, let's use the tailed beast Jade again and use the whole Konoha as fireworks. He suddenly felt a headache. This temperament is even more carefree than Kashina. Su Ming, you should know that the Kayubi is very dangerous. Namikaze Minato said patiently. Fortunately, nothing happened. Kayubi fell silent. Then, Namikaze Minato began to fall on Naruto next to Su Ming. Blonde hair and blue eyes, this face looks like Kashina. Unknowingly, Namikaze Minato's expression became softer and softer, ignoring Kayubi beside him, he said softly. You, daughter Naruto, right. Unexpectedly, Naruto did not show any expression of joy after seeing Namikaze Minato. Instead, he hid behind Su Ming with a wary expression. Who are you? Ah, Minato Namikaze was stunned. Didn't the third generation tell you? I am your father. Father. Unexpectedly, after hearing this, Naruto sneered. I don't have a father. I'm an orphan. I'm a fox demon. I don't have a father. No. As soon as he finished speaking, Naruto's consciousness had become illusory and he actually left here on his own initiative. Su Ming was also a little surprised by this. However, there is some understanding. From birth to now, I have never received fair treatment. I drink expired milk and live a life alone without even friends. Some are just endless loneliness in the past of being called a fox demon. How can you accept a father suddenly appearing on a day like this? He is also a great hero known to everyone in the village. Well, Su Ming also sighed. He is still a three-year-old child. Seeing Naruto leaving, Namikaze Minato's face was filled with bitterness. He never thought that his first meeting with Naruto would be like this. What exactly is going on? Namikaze Minato looked at Su Ming with a question in mind. Su Ming, what on earth is going on? Su Ming sighed. For the first time, he didn't know what to say to his father. In the end, he could only say. Naruto has lived a very hard life these past few years, very hard, very hard. Can you tell me something? When he heard Su Ming's words, Namikaze Minato's heart almost broke. His own son actually disowned himself. Moreover, he also said that he is a fox demon. 
What is going on? Su Ming took a deep breath, finally looked at the nine lamas behind Minato Namakaze, and said in a deep voice. Kiulama, you must have seen all the things that Naruto has experienced, right? That's natural. The nine lamas looked arrogant and said at the same time. What little Naruto has experienced is very interesting. Even I never thought that he would be treated like this. After seeing it, I have to say, Namikaze Minato, you are such a scumbag. Hearing this, Namikaze Minato was obviously stagnant, but he did owe a lot to Naruto, so even if Kurama was like this, he could only say. Kayubi, please tell me. Seeing Namikaze Minato's deflated look, Kurama felt secretly happy. After a moment, he raised his head and said, Okay, now that Xiao Su Ming has spoken and Namikaze Minato has this attitude, I will tell you. After saying this, he pointed his paw, and frames appeared in front of Su Ming and Namikaze Minato. However, the two people in the picture have very few clothes, and the scene is not quite right. Suddenly, Su Ming looked a little strange. Isn't this Hashirama and Uzumaki Mito? Moreover, back in those days, nine lamas actually had this hobby. When he saw this scene, Namikaze Minato was also dumbfounded. He suddenly thought. In this case, would he, Kashina, and Kayubi also? Ahem, misplaced. Being looked at by two people with strange looks, Ju Lama couldn't help it. If he hadn't been covered in red, Su Ming would have seen his face flushed. Next, he pointed again and the screen switched instantly. In the picture, the still young Naruto was walking on the street, and a group of children older than him were glaring at him. Fox Demon. It's this Fox Demon again, beat him to death. Really, what did the third generation think, why would you let the fox demon stay in the village? Picture after scene, frame by frame, it's like watching a movie. It also made Namikaze Minato's body tremble uncontrollably. Naruto. Boom. In the sealed space, Namikaze Minato punched the ground. It made a lot of noise. But now he is just the chakra left behind, even if he is angry, it will not help. Looking at the angry Minato, Kurama seemed to have found fun for the first time, and said with added jealousy. At the beginning, even I didn't expect that the descendants of you and Kashina would be treated like this. To be honest, when the seal was first opened, I really wanted to go out and have fun in Konoha. But now, I changed my mind. Minato Namikaze, it suddenly occurred to me that it would be interesting if I raised Uzumaki Naruto, let him personally confront Konoha, and let him personally destroy the village you protect. You dare. Namikaze Minato roared. At this moment, his eyes were bloodshot. Su Ming stood on one side and said nothing. What Kurama said was naturally just for the sake of Kinami Feng Shuaman. He really asked Kurama to raise Naruto. With his character, he would not agree. According to Ju Lama's idea, wouldn't it be nice to get more sleep during this time? What Su Ming wants to know at this moment is what will his father, the fourth Hokage, do? Dot dot dot. Outside. After coming out of the sealed space, Naruto's mood was a little low and he stared at the ceiling blankly. For a three-year-old child, too many things happened today. But, this is necessary. Su Ming thought about this scene, but what he thought was that if Namikaze Minato filled Naruto's future life, then some things would inevitably have to be faced. Father and son. It's not just blood relations. He did not doubt Namikaze Minato's love for Naruto. But, as Kayubi said, when Naruto and the village really come to opposite sides, as the fourth Hokage and Naruto's father, how should he choose? Destroy Konoha. Or stop Naruto. The sun was shining brightly outside the window, and Naruto was lying quietly on the bed. At this time, a voice suddenly came from outside the door. I'm in. Squeak. The door is opened. The person who walked in was Sarutobi Hirazan with a slightly gloomy expression. He really couldn't imagine why the Kayubi's seal was loosened. There were obviously no signs of ninja invasion outside Naruto's house, which meant that the seal was not opened by outsiders. But, could it be Su Ming? After entering, Sarutobi Hirazan looked around the room. It's been a while since I've been here, but it's a lot cleaner here. It seems that Su Ming's return has changed Naruto a bit. Having an older brother is not a bad thing. At least, this is the bond that remains in Konoha. Isn't your brother here? After looking at it, Sarutobi Hirazan looked at Naruto and asked immediately. Naruto looked inside the room and then shook his head. 
However, there was some confusion in his eyes. He remembered that his brother and he were still together just now, but now. It's okay if you're not here. Sarutobi smiled. It would be more convenient for him to inspect if he wasn't there. Grandpa third generation, why are you here? Naruto asked. I haven't seen you for a long time. I'm here this time to check up on you. Oh. Naruto responded uninterestedly, then lifted up his clothes and exposed his belly. Sarutobi then looked over. The seal seemed to be only loosened. There was no continuous flow of Kyubi's aura, so it seemed like an accident. Nothing is wrong, Naruto is in good health. Sarutobi smiled. Naruto was used to this kind of routine inspection. In the past, the third Hokage often checked his body like this. At first, he thought he was caring about himself. But not until he saw the fox inside him. Everything is clear. Naruto was never stupid. After checking it, Sarutobi felt relieved, then took out an envelope from his arms and placed it on the table. This is your living expenses this month, don't spend it randomly. After saying that, he turned around and left. At this moment, Naruto, who had been silent, suddenly raised his head, as he always did. Why, I don't have parents. Didn't I tell you? A long time ago, Sandai turned back, his eyes as cold as ever. The story of the nine-tailed demon fox, right? Many people died because of it, including my parents. But that's not what I want to hear. I want to hear about my parents, what kind of people they are ah. So what if I know? Sandai turned around and left without looking back. The dead will not be resurrected. The words were cold. He was determined to leave. This scene was seen by everyone in the sealed space. Whether it's Kurama, Su Ming, or Namikaze Minato. The difference is that Ju Lama has a joking look on his face. As for Namikaze Minato, his expression was extremely ugly. The scene that just happened was more real and infuriating than the clips played by Ju Lama. Only. Namikaze Minato clenched his fists and then loosened them weakly. What can you do if you know it? He is just a piece of chakra, which is still residual. There is nothing he can do. Even, his son cannot be allowed to recognize his father's identity. What a failure. At this moment, he felt deeply powerless. Is this the village you protect? Is this the person you entrust? Namikaze Minato, there seems to be something wrong with your eyes. Ju Lama lay aside and said calmly. The difference is that this time Namikaze Minato didn't have any rebuttal. His heart was full of bitterness. More than just a problem. For a moment, he wanted to rush out and question the third Hokage properly. Why? Why is Naruto treated like this? Why not reveal his identity? He is the son of the fourth Hokage, and at the same time, he is also the son of a hero. Chakra is running out. Namikaze Minato raised his head and looked at Su Ming aside, with a bitter look on his face. I know that what I did as a father was a failure. I didn't accompany Naruto well. I don't ask for his forgiveness. Su Ming, tell Naruto for me that I'm sorry. After saying that, Namikaze Minato turned around. Although the white Hokage robe and the words, fourth Hokage, written on it were eye-catching, the body could not stop feeling lonely. At this moment, he was no longer the fourth Hokage, but just a father. A father who fails to take care of his children. If you were asked to choose again, what would you choose? Hearing this, Namikaze Minato's face flashed with a look of reminiscence. If I choose again, I will be good and accompany Naruto. Because I am a father. It's just that there is no time and no right to choose. Snapped. Su Ming suddenly snapped his fingers, then smiled and said. That's not what you said. If father wants to apologize, go and tell Naruto yourself. I won't do such a thing. But, look back. When he saw what was in Su Ming's hand, Namikaze Minato was stunned for a moment. That's the chakra of Kyubi. Kyubi's chakra. Namikaze Minato was extremely familiar with this chakra. However, his current situation is a bit special. Kyubi can indeed distribute chakra to others. But, Namikaze Minato smiled bitterly and shook his head. Chakra alone is not enough. What about plus this? In Su Ming's other hand, a white talisman appeared. On the talisman, there was a big word, immortal, written on it. Immortal talisman. Namikaze Minato was stunned again. He never thought that Su Ming actually had an immortal talisman in his hand. The immortal talisman is indeed useful to him. Moreover, 
he could feel that the immortal talisman was useful to the soul. This means that he can stay and watch Naruto grow up as a father. This. Nine Lamas, you wouldn't mind using your chakra, would you? Su Ming turned his head and looked at the Nine Lamas lying on the side. Whatever. The Nine Lamas turned their heads to the side and said proudly. As long as you don't disturb my sleep. Even though the Nine Lamas looked unconcerned, when Su Ming crushed the immortal talisman and gave it to Namikaze Minato to use, he still quietly turned his head and watched with his peripheral vision. After all, it was an immortal talisman. As the golden light flashed, Namikaze Minato's body, which was originally in a state of dissipation, completely solidified. Then, Su Ming handed over the Nine Lama Chakra Ball in his hand. After absorbing the Chakra Ball, Namikaze Minato's body became completely stable. Next, he can stay here. However, since it is only a soul state, it can only stay in the sealed space. But, this is good enough for Namikaze Minato. After all, I can watch my son grow up in the future. This is something that Namikaze Minato, who wants to make amends and fulfill his duties as a father, is extremely longing for. After the Kyubi chakra was exhausted, Namikaze Minato looked at Su Ming excitedly. Su Ming, where did you get such an immortal talisman? Just by seeing Minato Namikaze's reaction, Su Ming knew what he was thinking, so he said. Father, don't worry. There are still such immortal talismans, and my mother can also be resurrected. It's just. Su Ming looked at Namikaze Minato and suddenly lowered his voice. Are you sure that if mother sees what Naruto looks like now, she won't be furious and even ask the nine lamas to tear Konoha apart? Hiss. After hearing Su Ming's words, Namikaze Minato's body visibly trembled. He knew Kashina's character very well. If she were to be resurrected now, she would really be able to do such a thing as releasing the Nine Tails. Therefore, Namikaze Minato stroked his forehead and said with some shame. Then let's discuss this matter again, discuss it again. Ha ha ha. Seeing Namikaze Minato like this, Su Ming naturally laughed. Others don't know, but he knows very well the family status of the fourth Hokage. Before there was Naruto, this was how the family was arranged. Uzumaki Kashina, the family throne. Su Ming, family status. Namikaze Minato, the younger brother in the family. I'm going to call Naruto. After Su Ming said this, he also left here. Outside, Naruto was by the window, staring blankly at the street. When entering the sealed space, Su Ming used the system to hide himself, so he was not found. Are you still angry, Naruto? Su Ming walked over and rubbed Naruto's head. Father, there is indeed something wrong with him, but he also loves you. Where in the world are there parents who don't love their children? I know, brother. Naruto nodded. After all, it's definitely not that easy to forgive him. Su Ming looked at Naruto, suddenly blinked and smiled evilly, shall we punish him? How could I forgive him so easily after not showing up for so many years? Quote. After saying these words, Su Ming clearly felt that Naruto's eyes lit up. Then, he took Naruto's hand and returned to the sealed space again. Naruto, I'm sorry. After seeing Naruto, Namikaze Minato said with a guilty look on his face. Okay, okay, what's the use of apologizing? Su Ming looked disgusted, why don't you come up with something practical? Realistically, Namikaze Minato was stunned. He touched himself, trying to find something to give to Naruto, but suddenly he thought that he was just a soul body now and had nothing on him. Therefore, I can only say with some embarrassment. Naruto, there is nothing on my father now. Do you want to learn ninjutsu? Surprisingly, Naruto shook his head. With my brother protecting me, I don't need to learn ninjutsu. Poof. At this time, the nine lamas who were watching the show laughed out loud. Namikaze Minato. I have to say, your trick of coaxing children is really bad. Namikaze Minato looked embarrassed. After all, he was also a father for the first time, and he died during the Kyubi invasion before he could properly fulfill his responsibilities. In this case, I will give you an idea. Ju Lama suddenly had a flash of inspiration and said with a bit of a smirk. Kurama suddenly thought that with Shao Su Ming here, he would naturally not be able to seek revenge from Namikaze Minato. But there is no way to seek revenge, he can find other ways. Naruto was someone he had seen since childhood. 
Since Namikaze Minato wanted to make amends, he might as well do some damage. Hee hee. Namikaze Minato, this time he fell into my hands. Julama looked at Naruto and said with ill intentions. Naruto, have you ever heard of riding a big horse? Naruto was stunned and nodded numbly. Namikaze Minato's expression changed. Su Ming, on the other hand, showed a smile that was truly yours to the nine lamas. Wait a minute, I. Minato seemed to want to retort. However, Ju Lama, who had already made up his mind, gave him this opportunity and said directly. Don't you say you want to compensate Naruto? You don't even dare to ride a big horse. Back then, even Hashirama dared. That's, okay. Minato reluctantly agreed. Then, he got down on all fours and lay down. Naruto rode up. Drive, drive. Father, hurry up, hurry up. Ha ha ha, drive. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Naruto's laughter filled the sealed space. Naruto and Su Ming spent almost the whole day here. This was the happiest birthday Naruto had ever had. Of course, when Naruto was happy, Julama was not idle either and was also happy. When Minato wasn't paying attention, he secretly slapped Namikaze Minato's butt twice with his paw. This also resulted in the nine lamas becoming more and more pleased with Naruto. And Namikaze Minato also experienced the joy of being a father. In the evening, Itachi and Sasuke came together to celebrate Naruto's birthday. After eating the cake, Naruto happily pulled Sasuke aside and whispered. Zuzi, let me tell you. My father is the fourth Hokage. When he said this, Naruto's face was full of pride. Inside the Hokage's office. As the smoke filled the air, Hiruzen Sarutobi held the pot in his mouth and squinted his eyes at the young man wearing Uchiha clothes in front of him. Shisui told me that even though you are still young, you can join Anbu with your qualifications, Itachi. In front of Sarutobi, Uchiha Itachi knelt on one knee with his head lowered. However, you should know that the relationship between your clan and the village has been a bit delicate recently. If I recruit you into the Anbu, I'm afraid many people will criticize you. Sarutobi said slowly. Itachi remained silent. But don't worry, I believe in you, Itachi. You are you, they are them, and you are different. The third generation showed his usual kind smile. After all, you are the future jade of the village. Jade. Itachi savored the word, confusion flashing in his eyes. So, Itachi, Anbu welcomes you. Sarutobi held out his hand with a smile on his face. Itachi was still a little confused. He naturally knows the subtle relationship between his clan and the village. Therefore, he actually didn't have much hope in applying to enter the Anbu this time. However, it actually passed. Itachi raised his head and looked at the kind-faced third Hokage Sarutobi Hiruzen. I couldn't help but feel a little touched in my heart. Is this the Hokage's ambition? I heard that you have a good relationship with Su Ming. Suddenly, Sarutobi asked. Itachi was stunned at first, and then nodded excitedly after hearing the name Su Ming. After spending the past few days with Su Ming, Itachi was deeply impressed by Su Ming, both in terms of strength and demeanor. However, Itachi, who was in excitement, did not notice that when he nodded, Sarutobi's brows suddenly frowned, but only for a moment. Itachi said, Ming Sang is a very good person. Sarutobi smiled, the slight dissatisfaction in his eyes fleeting. Next moment. Put on a familiar smile. If your first mission after entering Anbu is to monitor Su Ming, will you accept it? Spying on Ming San. Why? Itachi asked. Of course Su Ming has no problem. Sandai said, but his younger brother is the Nine Tails Jinchuriki in the village. In his body, there is a combination of evil and desire, the Nine Tails. What I am afraid of is, assuming he will be bewitched by the Kyubi and do things that are detrimental to the village. If that happens, I'm afraid the village will have to take action. As the Hokage, I don't want to see such a thing. After all, you are the future of the village. So, Sarutobi looked directly into Itachi's eyes, filled with kindness, are you willing to accept this mission and protect your friends? I do. Itachi nodded, a little excited. This mission must be kept secret. Sandai reminded. I know that as a ninja, I will not reveal my mission. Itachi nodded and left. Not long after Itachi left, Danzo walked in with a gloomy look on his face. Serutobi, I heard that the Nine Tails seal has been loosened. Yes. 
Sarutobi didn't deny it. The loosening of the Nine Tails seal cannot be concealed. What's more, Donzo's base information is very well informed. If it's my opinion, the Nine Tailed Brat should be locked up and someone should be sent to guard it every day. In this case, there is no chance that the seal will loosen. Sarutobi, what do you think of my suggestion? Sitting directly opposite Sarutobi, Danzo looked at the old man in front of him. Sarutobi shook his head, he is Minato's son. Poof. Danzo couldn't hold it back and laughed out loud. Minato's son. Now you know he is Minato's son. If Namikaze Minato finds out, I'm afraid he won't accept your kindness if you treat his son like this. Now, you're using this as an excuse. Do you think Danzo is stupid? Okay, stop talking nonsense. I just want to ask you, does this matter have anything to do with the kid who just came back? The kid who just came back naturally refers to Su Ming. Sarutobi shook his head, he wasn't there at that time, so it probably has nothing to do with him. That's good. Otherwise, I will use some special means. Danzo sneered. He has his own methods against Konoha. Anyone who is dangerous to Konoha will be dealt with by him with special means. Thanks for watching.